Hi P, this is it. So finally, yeah. Um, I just want to say that, of course, thank you for everything. And um, I meant every word that that I've said today. And um, in um, doctor. Um, hindi ka na mag-iisa pag tanda mo pi. I'll always be here for you. Um, I always, um, I will be a good wife and uh, a mother and the mother of our children. So yeah, I love you so much, pi. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, well, um, Maria and Michelle Zaga. Uh, it's been like uh, over five years we're together already. So this 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 is it. That's what they say. So I I vow that uh, I'll make uh, our marriage secret. Uh, uh, I'll be always faithful to to you, of course, and uh, I'll be a very good uh, husband uh, and to to our children. And, uh, and that's it. Yeah.
My dearly beloved couple, listen and listen well to the Lord's message as you begin your life as a Christian couple. From this day forward, your civil status will be changed from single to married. And as such, do not forget the three most important ingredients that I would impart to make this status remain and overcome whatever hindrance you may encounter. First and foremost, never forget to nurture each other. From this day forward, you will not only think of your own welfare, but the welfare of your spouse. That is why we call your partner as your better half and not the bitter half. Okay? And then always remember, because you know, this, uh, that is, uh, because their good is higher than your own. Always remember Mark and Nish, bawal no, ang, ang magiging manhid sa buhay mag-asawa. Second, never forget to be generous to each other. Generosity is always a two-way process. It is not a one-way give and take. Mark, your assets and liabilities are like her assets and liabilities. Likewise, Nish, your assets and liabilities are also his. That is why I do not agree with prenuptial agreements. It voids the generosity which plays an important role in marriage. As a couple, you need to learn how to give to and to adjust with one another. As a couple, you need to learn how to tie the loose ends in your life together. It will be your call. It is your life already. You shouldn't let be dictated and influenced by your respective parents or friends. Always remember, bawal ang madamot sa buhay mag-asawa. Thirdly, never forget to be fair and just. You need to give what is due to each other. You need to learn your respective strengths and weaknesses. Learn how to balance things, not only in financial matters, but also in every aspect of your marital relationship. Do not do things that you know can hurt each other. Mark, niche is not the number one in your life. For if she is the number one, then maybe you have a number two, and a number three, and a number four and so forth, and so on. 
but make her your one and only apple of your eye. Nish, there is only one and only mark in this world. Make him the most precious treasure in your life. Whatever happens next, take good care of him and never let him go. At all times, be honest and truthful to each other. Always remember, bawal ang third party sa buhay mag-asawa. These are the three most important elements, nurturance, generosity, and honesty. And the secret to live these three, it is your noble and true love for each other. And how do you express and share this love? Tap each other's hand, tap each other's shoulder, tap each other's back, tap one another. Dahil nga maraming tap, iti taps. No? And these taps has or have significance, time, action, presence, and sacrifice. You need to give ample and quality time for each other. You need to exert effort to work out your relationship. You need always to be there for each other, especially in each one's down moments. You need to sacrifice, especially those which you know can hurt your marriage. 